to Evidence of Bigfoot, Episode 4. Enjoy. Hi, folks. Welcome to this Evidence of Bigfoot, Episode 4, where we are going to be going out and mocking a airsoft game, meaning an airsoft game is with uh, plastic airsoft guns they shoot little plastic BBs and we're going to mock it we're gonna actually pretend that there's other players with us there's a game going on and we're gonna shoot at targets that are set up and uh, we're gonna see if anything happens should I say unusual during that event so strap on your seats and enjoy the ride okay Keep so we're just uh gonna be uh heading in periodic spots folks and we're gonna be doing some shooting and stuff like that now this is a high powered airsoft rifle it has an orange tip to it and uh this one has a high powered motor and uh we're just going to see what type of activity we can draw in with uh, a mock airsoft game. So, woohoo! This is Fox on radio check. <laughs> Dang it. Target one. <laughs> Good target. The whole idea in this episode of Evidence of Bigfoot is we're gonna we're going to periodic spots, making a big circle, and we're shooting at targets, and uh, we're or just the ground just to see if anything it disrupts some type of activity movement or something like that and then when we come up here we're gonna act like we're actually in a game like we're gonna yell like move up and all this and that is to draw attention to anything that is around us so we're gonna try this idea and uh, see if it works uh, so far we haven't heard anything out of ordinary. I thought I heard a woo, but it could have been anything. Been hearing these whistles, but they're birds. So yeah, we're gonna try this and see what happens. So All right, folks. I'm gonna let you know about a uh, little secrets here. Um, so there's some berries over here, raspberries, look like wild raspberries. And then this area right here being open like that, or something went up in there. Now, not everything is Bigfoot, I understand. But, uh, you want to look into areas like that and see if it definitely is a possibility of a bear or a squatch. But, uh, this is a little bit word of advice. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's a uh, bear that is matting the ground down like that. Evidently, you know, we, it's 
So back in 2005, yeah. folks, uh, this is where I seen the Bigfoot come down off of this hill, right through here. And then walk this way. Looks like something's actually walking that way now. And it came down and and then flanked us back in the day. 2005. Laws changed here. Of course, there was bigger trees up through here. There wasn't these saplings or all this stuff. You could see. <clears throat> I really think that this is this is bear or human because. A certain fact and reason is there's blackberries right there. Good food source. Right in through here, something was over there. There's blackberries there. So. Move up! <laughs> Copy! Right there! Ahead! <laughs> Over here! Woohoo! Right here! To the left! He's right there! Woohoo! Okay, so Devin, so Devin said they're not dumb, which is 100% right on because, I mean, he said that. It knows that we're going to be messing around. It knows that there's no airsoft game going on. It's just a couple couple dudes up here messing around. And he makes sense when he says that. So what makes you a uh, conclusion of that, man? Well, if he has, like, comes down in on us, he sees just two of us, and he goes around the whole area and just sees just two of us. He's going to... No, for sure. Because mm -hmm. we're not spread out. We're not firing at each other. We're just firing at random trees and stuff. So he'll know that there's not two more other people out there yeah. playing a game. So he's not going to be coming down. So Devin's going to try another method. Um, along with the airsoft stuff. Because, I mean... It knows it knows that we have airsoft guns and we're just messing around, but um, there's a chance that there's other people coming, or that's going to be coming up here. So it doesn't know that, but uh, so we're we're trying uh, several different methods to see if um, it works. But right now, um, between the 50% and 100% Bigfoot and 50% whatever. I, I go in the area, uh, um, drawing attention. If this is going to draw attention, airsoft guns and stuff like that, I give it about probably about a 40% right now. But we're not out of the woods yet, so we're just going to see on if we can draw attention with uh, some other methods along with the airsoft. So it's like actually, you know, adding a little bit more intensity. Alright folks, so what we're going to do is we're going to move our way up this way, cut down in, and see if we can draw attention. Right now the mosquitoes have been overpowering us. I mean, it's horrible. It doesn't matter what how much spray you got on. The damn things just infest you. Like I, we, like me and Devin both freaking put a whole bunch on. Now something walked through here. It looks like deer tracks. So we're going to work our way up here. And then my elbows, like... Ooh, ooh, rock thrown. Was it a rock? That was a rock. 
or something. Yeah, something has been walking in here. Probably deer. Yeah. Right through here. So we're heading down this way. So he's not coming down through here or what? He cut that way. Came down and he cut it like. So he probably knew what we were. So it retreated back. Oh, because we're low. We're real low, too. All I see when I'm looking at you is mosquitoes. There's like one, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute. I already counted that one. There's like four of you. Alright, so up. we're just going to finish that. Hit the target there. And guys, I think we're going to call it due to the weather but we'll get down or not weather but the mosquitoes but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down by the field and see if anything follows us down there so we're heading out folks with a thousand mosquitoes everywhere <laughs> okay folks so um and in in the conclusion there was some activity, but it wasn't really, um, we couldn't really figure it out. But whatever it was, was upright, because it was breaking branches, you think? Yeah. I mean, what, what was your... Well, we came down into the field where the tower is, and we heard this big snap, and it was really close. It sounded like we stepped on a branch wrong. Mm-hmm. But it was really close, like right behind us. 
So. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, we also heard a rock. Get thrown way off in yeah, the distance, yeah. Get tossed around. Yeah, so so here's the thing. Um, oh. So do you think... <laughs> so we're calling it quits early, folks, because of mosquitoes. There's so many mosquitoes around. At least trying to get to my brain. And, and I mean, do you think that that um, it had something to do with uh, stalking us because, or well, coming down to us because of the airsoft guns, or just us being there or anything? Us being there, really. So there wasn't really any yeah, there difference. Was, mm. Well, it could have been. Cause it sounded like it was closer mm -hmm. than usual. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what that I probably. Would point more towards. Yes, it worked with the guns because it thought that with the motor. Making okay, the, making the noise. Yeah. Okay. It can get closer. Okay. So, so ladies and gentlemen, it did work. So we're just uh, so be about a 50-50 chance of airsoft. An airsoft game working. What is your percentage? Let's try it on 60 or 70. It really depends on how you do it. Okay. And what type of game you're playing. Because mm -hmm. if you're playing a game where you're quiet most of the time, it's not really going to work. If you're playing a game where you're more active, firing. More, yeah. It's the kind of that you're going to come closer because the gun's going to distract you. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, man. So, yeah, folks, so I give it about the same, depending on what kind of game you're playing and stuff, but um, I give it about a 75% chance. Yeah, it depends on how active you are and how much the gun's going off. But if the gun's not really going off, it's not really going to come in because it's going to be more exposed. Yeah. So, does an airsoft game, folks, attract a Bigfoot? Your odds are pretty high on that. Yeah. But don't think he's just going to come in on you because he's not. Yeah. He'll go around around yeah, your perimeter. Yeah, seemed like he was doing. He came down and then he made that mistake and then he went to the left and started moving towards the bigger rock. Mm -hmm. And there was literally, you can hear footsteps moving and then breaking branch yeah. behind us. So a good job with Devin for uh, noticing something on our tail. Yeah. And then the mosquitoes just overwhelmed us. So mm -hmm. so uh, when you're out there, folks, and you got that airsoft game going on, uh, be aware because you just might be watched by a big giant. <laughs> so keep it squatchy until next time. Bye-bye, then. Keep it real. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're heading out to Area X. I'm going to be putting up a line of trail cameras, approximately 60 to 70 feet apart, and uh, I'm trying to cut in an area to possibly catch anything that is abnormal, should I say crossing uh, an area so uh, I'm gonna see how this is gonna turn out I'm gonna leave them there for about a month and uh, see what uh, runs through that flank line it's basically called a flank line basically cutting one area of the area in half and uh, trying to catch anything that uh, moves through so all right let's go see how this is going to turn out shall we so, keep it squatchy. what we're doing here now is i'm coming up here and i'm going to be putting cameras in a line cutting through the woods and it's going to cut a portion of the flank when i mean flank i mean a circle so Look at it like a portion of the woods and then like a circle on the left and on the right. We're going to be cutting the left flank from the one area off. So if anything moves through that vicinity, we're going to catch it on camera. 
Hopefully it's more than deer. It's something that is unusual. Because that's what we're after. So, okay, so look at this here. You can see how this is all trampled down. Something big has definitely been into this area. Could be people. It could be people. But I don't know. But you definitely can see where something big has been in this area. See how it is there. Looks like there was something big back in there. See how that's opened up back in there. There's a ditch line that goes up the side here. Now that ditch line, we're just going to be on this side of the ditch line, going right up through. We're going to see if we see, that's where we're going to be putting our cameras. This right here looks like a big track. That looks like a big foot track right there. Can't put anything next to it. Maybe my knife. <clears throat> that looks like a Bigfoot track, it really does. You can see that right there clearly. Looks like a squatch print. I have no idea the distance of that. Probably, let me see, a 10 inch boot. Probably 11, 13 inch. Okay, we're gonna probably go over here to this spot. Try not to make a lot of noise. The ditch lines right over here. All right, so we're putting up the first camera, moving it you know basically through that way if anything moves through this area it's got it going up just above my head Let's see how far this goes out hopefully it goes pretty far bush right here is not good.
very well. So 60 feet. Okay, so we're putting up this other camera. There it is. So, some of these bushes are in the way. So I'm going to try to actually clear them out. the other one. Alrighty. Having a face in that way just in case anything comes through that area might be a good possibility you might catch something but I don't know. Alright, so this one's set. Now we're gonna move. We're gonna move out this way. Check the other cameras. And, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, all right, so the whole idea is to have a line, like camera here, going straight across, camera there, and keep going. And have another even camera way, way back in there, and make a whole line coming straight out through right towards the one field. I mean, that's the whole idea, is to basically cut this whole area off with trail cameras. And... Hopefully, it would cross in, in between. But since the sun comes up over here, it works its way across here, and I'm, I'm just glad it's, it's uh, summertime because as the sun comes across here, these leaves will catch it, so it won't be as glare on the cameras. Now, um, they tell you mostly, though, when you have trail cameras, to make sure that it is an area where the sun's not shining. So, basically, right here on this tree, facing this way, straight this way. Because the sun will come up over here, and it sets way over there, so therefore, the camera won't catch it. So that's what they're saying, but, but in this, in this incident, incident, in this predicament, I cannot do that because I have to have a straight line moving through from the urban area where I don't think a squash would go because I mean it would be so risky to the wooded area moving straight across. Now if I made it cameras coming up through here like that it just wouldn't work right because it would be able to go around it. So, we're going to leave these up here, probably, I'm going to leave them up here about a week, check them, check them in one week and see what's happening, and then uh, I'm going to, uh, go from there. Now, I wanted to put more cameras up, but my other ones are sporadic out through here, there's one way over there, got a camera straight across over there, and then one up here. So that's where we're going to go right now. We're going to check these out. Now there's one one Bigfoot possible track that we found back there. Now there's others, I think, over here. So that's it, folks. Let's uh, go check these out. Seen on 
my recent videos of evidence of Bigfoot. Um, there is something that stands up and gets down. Okay. Now here's my theory of that. Um, whatever stood up and made this grouchy sound like, uh, like that. Got back down. A deer ran out in front. Okay. So what does that say? Honestly, I think the deer startled whatever that was. And it stood up and got back down. I'm kind of thinking that this thing roams around on all fours to a point, but I don't know what it is. It looks like a squatch, but it don't look like a squatch. It looks like a rake, but it don't look like a rake. It looks like a whatever else. I just don't know. some tracks as I, as I go through here. See now look at this, okay? I want you to look at this. See this coming across here like this? Something literally physically put this here. Physically put that there. Physically. So what you do is you look at it and see how long it's been there. All right, so what you gotta do is you gotta look at, when you pop this out, look at the inside. See, this hasn't been here that long. And then see, if it was there that long, okay, if it was there that long, then it would be rubbing. It would be rubs. And there's no rubs. Everything's the same dang temperature. So it's really hard. Got a camera down here I'm gonna check on the way back on through. We're gonna go check this camera out right now. Looks like there's a, an illusion there or something. Yeah, I don't think that's nothing. That really seriously could have been some type of a distress signal that it copied from when I had my alarm up here. Alright, we're going to turn this off. We're going to do two things. Switch out the cards. Alright, 
so this is what we're doing we're gonna push this over towards that way If anything goes through through on that side, it's got it. Alright, we gotta see where this is. Look at this possible tree knock area right here where something hit this. I think right in this area right here is a good place for a trail cam. And show them back out that way as a possible, possible area that's really good. Okay, so we're putting this last one up. We're getting the heck out of Dodge. And that is for sure. coming up here soon. Let's see when. Got this at 720. Nine oh five. Alright, so we didn't get no big time acti activity and it could be s for several reasons um, okay, it could be for several reasons number one I'm blinding myself can't see no number one the heat we're in a heat advisory and I think it I think it's down by the swamp, probably, or the marsh, and also uh, by uh, the creek down here. I think that's where you have most of your activity right now, for sure. Sorry, right, folks. So that's it for for that little outing of putting up cameras. We'll keep monitoring them and see uh, what comes up so uh, keep it squatchy until next time please subscribe and uh, enjoy